Welcome on this tutorial. Wish all you are well. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss how to start with ESP8266. ESP8266 is a microcontroller based development board which can generate Wi Fi signal as well as this ESP8266 can be connected with any type of Wi Fi network. Nowadays, this is vastly used when you want to work with IoT based project. Basically, this ESP8266 works on AT based command. When you purchase this ESP8266, the firmware is already installed into its memory. So, we can use AT commands. To apply AT commands or to program ESP8266, we need to connect this ESP8266 with PC. Now, in this tutorial, I will show how to connect ESP8266 with PC and start working with it. Go through the tutorial, subscribe, it will encourage me to upload more and more important tutorials. Before starting with AT commands, I would like to say a little about what is ESP8266. Nowadays, ESP8266 is one of the leading platform for working on IoT. ESP8266, technically which is called ESP8266EX, is a Wi-Fi module based on Cadence Transilica L1062 bit microcontroller unit manufactured by Spaceship Systems. This module is very cheap and very easy to work with. ESP8266 is normally preloaded with firmware and set with AT commands. That's why we are able to use AT commands to work with it. ESP module is available in wide range from ESP1 to ESP12. Number of general purpose input output pin varies according to different modules. The ESP8266 system on chip contains a fully functionally Wi Fi stack and TCP IP stack that allows any microcontroller to get connected to a Wi Fi network. Due to this property, we can use any type of development board made with ESP8266 for wireless networking. With software development kits, we can directly program ESP8266's on-chip microcontroller without the need for an external microcontroller. Hardware and pin configuration of generic ESP8266 model 01. There are different development boards available in the market, say ESP01, ESP02, ESP07, ESP12, etc. All these boards are based on ESP8266 system on-chip, but the main difference is the number of GPIO pins. The other different modules are Node MCU, OMS, SparkFun ESP8266, etc. Here I am going to use ESP01. At the top, this golden color is antenna. This is status LED. This is power on LED. This is a crystal 26 megahertz. This is 1 MB flash memory. And this is ESP8266 EX system on chip. And these are 8 number of connecting pins. Now what are the functions of different pins? At top left corner, this is ground pin which should be grounded. At bottom right corner, this is BCC. It is a power pin through which 3.3 volt is supplied to ESP8266. Bottom left is transmit pin and top right corner is receive pin. This transmit pin is used to transmit serial data to other devices. And this receive pin is used to receive serial data from other devices. At the top, this is GPIO2 and this is GPIO0. The GPIO0, this general purpose input output pin has dual functions. One for normal GPIO operation and other for enabling the program mode of ESP8266. When we will program on this ESP8266, then this GPIO0 pin will be needed. The GPIO2, this is used for normal GPIO operation. At the bottom, this is CHPD, chip power down or it can be said as chip enable pin. This pin is active high pin and usually this pin is connected with 3.3 volt. There is another pin which is the reset pin. This pin is active low. ESP8266 will reset if the reset pin receives a low signal. One point we need to put in our mind. The ESP8266 is not compatible with 5V and the ESP01 module does not have any voltage regulator on board. We need to make sure that the power supply to this ESP8266 is 3.3V and preferably from a dedicated power supply is better. 
Now I am showing actual ESP8266-01 module with which I will work. This is generic ESP8266 model 01. It is very tiny size. Dimension is around 13 mm by 24 mm. This golden color is antenna. This is IC ESP8266EX and this is on MB flash memory. Here these are 8 connecting pins. See these are the pins. I have soldered it for the connection. To work with ESP8266, we need to know different AT commands and the functions of those AT commands. Normally AT commands are given through desktop or laptop. So we need to know how to connect ESP8266 with PC. For connecting ESP8266 with PC, we may use two ways. First one, we may use ESB to TTL converter. Next, we may use Arduino board. At present, I am using Arduino Uno board to communicate with ESP8266. Later, I will show how to use USB to TTL converter for accessing ESP8266. There is a circuit connection to connect ESP8266 with PC through Arduino board. Transmit pin of ESP8266 will be directly connected with the transmit pin of Arduino board. This receipt pin of ESP8266 will not directly be connected with the receipt pin of Arduino board. As ESP8266 voltage level is 3.3 voltage and the Arduino voltage level is normally 5 volt. So the signal which will be generated from this Arduino that will be 5 volt. That 5 volt should be reduced to 3.3 volt and that is done by this voltage divider circuit using 1K and 2.2K resistor. The voltage at this point will be around 3.43 voltage which is compatible with this ESP8266. Signal at transmit pin will be generated by the ESP8266 and that is normally 3.3 volt. So no need to any voltage divider or any extra circuitry. TX pin of ESP8266 is directly connected with the TX pin of Arduino board. The G pinable pin and BCC will be connected with the 3.3 volt. We may take this 3.3 volt from Arduino board or we may use separate voltage source. The reset pin is normally grounded through a reset switch. The GPIO0 has two functionality. One is normally general purpose input output. Another one is as a programming mode. I may use a SPDT switch. When this ESP8266 will be used as a programming mode, then this will be connected with grounded. Otherwise, it is kept open for using as a general purpose input output function. USB cable will be connected at this USB port to connect this Arduino with the PC. Now I am connecting the whole circuitry. ESP8266, Arduino board with PC. Connecting Arduino board with PC. This very small circuitry I have made on Vero board. This ESP8266 I am placing on this board. Running Arduino ID. Selecting Arduino Uno board tools, Arduino Uno. Now selecting COM port, COM9. We need to upload a blank sketch to Arduino microcontroller. So opening file, new. This is a blank sketch. I am uploading this to Arduino microcontroller. Uploading completed. Now I am connecting transmit pin of Arduino Uno with the transmit pin of ESP8266 and receive pin of Arduino with proper position that is in between two resistors. Now giving 3.3 volt from Arduino board to ESP8266 and connecting ground pin of Arduino with the ground pin of ESP8266. See, this red indication indicates that it is properly connected. Power supply is okay. Now to send AT command from Arduino ID, Arduino microcontroller should be in reset mode. Because to send AT command, we are only using the Arduino ID, not using microcontroller at the Arduino board. Now to provide reset mode 
to Arduino board. I am connecting this reset pin of Arduino with the ground pin of Arduino board. The connection is completed. Now I am opening serial monitor. Here setting both new line and carrier is returned and board as 115200 and sending AT from the serial monitor to SP8266. AT enter. Oh, really good. At first attempt, I got the response. Clearing the serial monitor. Again, I am sending AT command. It's okay. This AT command is sending from serial monitor to the ESP8266 microcontroller, ESP8266 board. And this ESP8266 is responding with this OK, what we are getting here. So when we are getting this OK command from this ESP8266, it is very much clear that ESP8266 connection with the PC is OK, perfectly working. Sometimes if we do not get any output or any response from ESP8266, what we can do? Just we need to reset the ESP8266. I am showing here, just pressing the reset button. See some arbitrary character we got at serial monitor. Clearing serial monitor and again sending AT command from this serial monitor. It's OK, perfectly working. So when you receive this OK response from, from ESP8266, then it can be assured that our circuitry or connection is perfectly working. In next tutorial, I will explain the functioning of different AT commands which are very much needed while we want to work this ESP8266 in wireless communication.